When nature gifts you with abundance, you have to use your imagination. In this video, we will share the 11 natural methods we use at home to preserve all parts of lemon, without waste and without additives. Lemon is one of the anti-inflammatory foods and deserves much care when preserving it. So let's take a look at these tips one by one. For all the methods we are going to show you, it is important to start by washing the lemons well. Even when they are organic, there is always dust and residues that must be removed from the peel before preserving. After washing, they should be dried well with a cloth. To preserve wool fresh lemons, we put them in freezer bags, from which we remove the air with a pump. By removing the air from the lemons, we are inhibiting oxidation, thus prolonging their shelf life. It is important to put a label with the date to remind you of the expiration. The lemons can thus be kept fresh in the fridge and used au naturel for up to 6 months. To use, simply remove the amount of lemons needed for each recipe and reseal the bag removing the air. Before we show you how to preserve the peel, we can't emphasize enough that the lemon peel should only be consumed if the lemon is organic. For store-bought lemon or lemon from conventional farming, it is highly inadvisable to consume the peel. Using a fruit peel, we remove the peel all around the lemon. This is done carefully, removing only the yellow part in very thin slices, leaving the white part intact. The peels can be placed in boxes or freezer bags and stored in the freezer. It's okay to store them all together because even frozen they separate easily. The peels can then be used to make lemon tea, flavored water, decorate candies and make macerations. The zest can be obtained in two ways. The traditional way is to use a zester. The other way is to remove the peel with a fruit peeler and grind the slices in a food processor. This second way is faster and more effective, also leaving the white part of lemon intact. We flatten the zest in a freezer bag and remove the air from it, to take up less space in the freezer. The bag should be flattened so that it is easy to break or remove only the amount needed at a time. The zest can then be used in various types of cooking, candies, ice cream and even natural soap. To make the juice, simply use a juicer. With a strainer, we separate the juice from the pulp. We put the juice in ice cube molds and put them in the freezer.
After freezing, we pass the cubes into freezer bags, remove the air, and put them back in the freezer. The cube juice can then be used to make lemonade, flavored water, baking, and even other curious things like natural hair removal wax and natural bee food. After squeezing the juice, there is always pulp left over. The pulp can also be frozen in molds, small or large, depending on what you will use it for. Both the clean pulp and the pulp that still contains seeds can be preserved for later use in various ways, such as making lemon soap, filling cakes and doing other creative cooking. To preserve the pulp, we freeze in big molds and then transfer to freezer bags, which we place in the freezer again. Many people throw away the mesocarp because they think it has no use. However, the mesocarp is rich in iron, magnesium, calcium and zinc. Its gel texture contains soluble fibers that decrease appetite and contribute to satiation, thus helping with weight loss. Contrary to popular belief, its flavor is actually quite pleasant and much less acidic than the peel. To preserve the mesocarp in gel, we cut the white parts into small pieces and put them in the food processor until they become zest. Then we put the zest into a strainer bag and squeeze. This task is time consuming and requires hand strength. We then place the gel in a glass jar and store in the fridge. It can be stored for up to two weeks. Mesocarp gel can be used as a natural thickener for jams and other sweets and can also be eaten by the spoonful, but only a little bit at a time. The mesocarp can also be stored in individual portions or in flattened bags so that it's easy to take out just the necessary quantities. The shredded mesocarp can then be used to make the gel, fill cakes and even mix into yogurt. To preserve all parts of lemon, peel, mesocarp and pulp, we cut the lemon into small pieces and put it in the food processor until it has a kind of paste-like consistency. We then divide it into individual portions in large molds, freeze it and transfer it to bags. Preserving all parts of lemon is particularly useful for making natural lemon soap or lemon dishwashing detergent. This mixture can also be squeezed into a strainer bag to use in any recipe that requires lemon pulp or juice. Another way to preserve lemon is to slice it, removing the seeds. The seeds can then be used to germinate and grow new lemon trees. We store the slices in boxes and put them in the freezer. We do not recommend storing in freezer bags as the slices will be too tightly packed together and it may be difficult to separate without breaking them. The slices can then be used to flavor water and decorate drinks. To dehydrate the lemon, we cut it into very thin slices, remove the seeds,
place the slices on the oven grill and leave them for about 5 hours at 80 degrees Celsius. The dehydration time will always depend on the efficiency of the oven. It is important to keep turning the slices so they can dehydrate easier evenly. After removing the rack from the oven, we let the slices cool down. The slices are well dehydrated when they break easily. Once dehydrated, we store the slices in an airtight jar so that they remain well dried, away from moisture. The dehydrated lemon slices are so beautiful that they can be used to decorate candies or other baked goods, as well as to be consumed directly. After dehydration, the slices can also be reduced to powder. We grind the slices in a coffee grinder, and then use a sieve to make the powder very fine. This task should be repeated until everything is processed. We store the powder in an airtight jar. When kept well dried, the powder can be stored for more than a year. Lemon powder is quite versatile and can then be used to sprinkle various types of cooking and desserts. And so, nothing is lost, everything is transformed. These are the tips we have for you, and here are some suggestions for ideas on how to use lemon. The links to these videos are in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, also visit this post on our blog. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos about sustainability, organic farming, natural products, and so much more.